build it right, be safe, be confident. This is your typical hydraulic log splitter. I've saved a lot of money by using this for other than splitting logs. In one of my YouTubes I explain how hydraulics work and what a bypass is. I'll show you how this works on a bypass to start with. The bypass keeps you from tearing anything up. This one's set for 27 tons. So now I demonstrated hydraulic bypass and where they come into play anytime you're working with hydraulics. How this has saved me a lot of money. Angle arm, wood, angle arm, block, you got different sizes of metal pipe, for today I'm going to use PVC, once you're pushing a bearing on or off, you got to know if you're working with the outer race or the inner race. So now you got your bearing, you put it in there. Press the bearing in. Once the bearing's fully seated and you're watching, you have total control here. You had to have a, a way to eliminate the sharp part. That's where angle arm come in. Angle arm. Whatever you're using to seat the bearing. And you have a stop down here. So. That lets you seat bearings. In one of the videos I showed in the past, I showed you how to drill holes in the forks on your forklift. They're easy to drill. You drill a hole in there, which I hadn't had a need for it here. You put that in there. You drill a hole down through here, same thing. You mount that, you pull it apart, literally pull it apart. The other thing is, one time before, I had some logs that weighed over three tons. I need to load them on the trailer. I used the hydraulic thing to load the trailer. Hooked it on with the chain, went up there, pulled the log, sent it back, chained it up, pulled the log, pulled the log. It was that easy to load a three ton log onto a trailer with a log splitter, two feet at a time. So now you have a lot of presses in, in the machine shops are vertical. This is also a vertical mode. It just, I don't like working that close, based generally. If I'm using it to push or pull other than split logs, it's in the horizontal mode. You got control. What you're doing whenever you put this stuff up there, you make jigs, fixtures, clamps. I've had people bring ramps to me that they bent, overloaded a ramp for their trailer. The ramp looks like this. You load it up. You make your thing to hold it. You press it in. You straighten the ramp. You straighten the ramp. The other one is, say you want to bend a pipe, pipe bender. You get your radius out there. In this case, you make a plug or whatever you want to call it. If it's like that and you want to bend it to here, 
you got one of these here, one of those there, a block there and a block there, and you bring the two together. When you bring the two pieces together, you got a straight pipe. Same thing if you want to bend it. All it takes is the principle on how to bend pipe, straighten pipe, how to use a lot of force to fix things. The, the first two that saved me the most money was a machine shop. Said, no, you need to go to the dealer. I went to the dealer for new axle bearings. $235 to put two bearings on. And I realized I had a press at home. I just had to figure out how to do it. This is what I came up with. So a uh, log splitter is a hydraulic press, hands down. Have a good day.